Hello and welcome to Rocket Fuel, your daily update of everything that's happening in the Rocket Pool community. My name is Wack. Today is November 5th. I mean, I can you forget the day today? And uh, today's episode's got a couple of really big announcements that we're going to go over. That's to do with the Rocket Pool Twitter account and new rocket scientist. We're also going to be talking about our wreath effectiveness and a new RPL low price uh, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. 10, 9, Ignition sequence start. Six. Right, so the way we're going to start is with this announcement that came out from MAV yes, last night, um, 11 p.m. Eastern time, saying, hey everyone, the big promised announcement is a little late, but finally it's here. And he says that um, the Rocket Pool X account is back online. Uh, if you're on X or please give the recent post some love so we can build some momentum uh, behind that account again. It says if you're building something in the Rocket Pool ecosystem, drop me a ping or a DM and we'll see if we can arrange some co-marketing on X. Plus, a report on these three impersonal accounts would be helpful too. So let's actually go and have a look at that account. It's been a while since we've done this, so it feels fresh and new. But here is the Rocket Pool account. Um, and it says Rocket Pool is back on X. The recent Saturn Zero a protocol upgrade has enabled ETH only mini pools, no RPL required. Plus, there's a record R ETH minting capacity available at stake.rocketpool.net. That's not quite true because at one point we had a queue of 2000 post Atlas. So that was definitely a rocket, uh, um, a record R ETH minting capacity. But here is the Rocket Pool account and it's back. It says ETH only mini pools are live. And then it says this is the last tweet in this thread. But, um, you know, the post got some love. It got 10,000 views, 170 likes, 54 retweets, and some comments. Um, and the reason why this is so important is because, you know, sadly, uh, a lot of conversation about um, crypto is happening on Twitter. Um, and there's no way to avoid that, really. Like, um, you know, Farcaster, um, some of the community kind of went over there for a few weeks, a few months. But it never really caught on in the same way that Twitter has continued. And, um, like, I think not being part of that narrative and that that discussion taking place can kind of limit you you know so um this is the rocket pool twitter account is back and this is the first post that we've had here um since um well nearly a year now 10 months ago uh, this was december 18th 2023 um and mav of course kind of told the story and um you know we knew that the alpha growth guys kind of put the team in touch with someone at Twitter who was then able to get them control of their account back. So this was really great news. And like I was saying, you know, this account is followed by 46,000 people. So that's not like massive, but it's pretty decent still. And um, the fact is that, you know, we, we need this, we need this platform to get out and get the messaging out again as well. And, you know, I'm really hoping to start seeing replies on, sorry, posts on the Rocket Pool um, Twitter account, um, saying things like go mint our ETH, our ETH is great. Like this is why, you know, you should be minting our ETH. And these are all the different ways you can use our ETH and all that good stuff. Because of course, you know, our ETH is the product that we're selling. And it's nice that, um, you know, in the, in the first tweet back, there's mention of there being record capacity for our ETH. So that was um, a definitely big plus. It's something that we've been waiting for for quite a while. And now that it's here, I think it's really great that, you know, we we uh, have this uh, avenue of messaging out to a wider audience because, of course, you know, there's not frequently, um, you know, that number of people who are in the Rocket Pool Discord. So it's a whole different audience and a whole different, um, you know, number of people that we can get through to. And that, of course, is really awesome. Now, going back to the Discord, we've got a second part of the announcement here. So this is to do with the election today. So there was a part of this talking about how, you know, um, it's good to remember for us to be excellent to each other, to um, put our best foot forward. And, you know, let's not get too uh, far ahead of ourselves where, you know, things have to be moderated. Um, but, um, yeah, just think about what we're saying before we do it. And, and that's fine. Um, the other key thing that came out in this announcement here as well was that uh, the rocket scientists were given uh, timeout powers recently to help with the overnight mod duties and this has seemed to work well so far but on that note it's time for a well overdue appointment to the rocket scientist role so for most people reading this halulo needs no introduction and has contributed to rocket pool for over the past 18 months this appointment is in conjunction with taking steps to better define the role uh, following feedback from the rocket scientists we have shared preliminary draft of the charter here there may be further changes to the role and members in the future 
So let's have a look at this charter and see what uh, Marv is talking about. So Langer's last night put out uh, rocket scientist charter. So this is what the team I think is going to start looking at in terms of figuring out who should and shouldn't be a rocket scientist and how that should look. So Langer says introduction as the rocket pool protocol continues to evolve. It's only natural that participants and contributors change over time. With this in mind, it makes sense that rocket scientist membership could become more dynamic. Rocket scientists uh, not only receive nominal reward by a, a fractional order membership, but also a degree of heightened reputation and permissionless uh, permissions with within this Discord. And then um, the definition is rocket scientist soon shares their knowledge of the rocket pool protocol with others. And then joining, so it says, for now, the rocket scientist role remains permissioned. New members can be added by the team on an ad hoc basis. Feel free to get in touch with me at any time to nominate yourself or others who are stand-up community members. Um, evaluation will be completed based on the following three criteria, which are listed in order of importance and follows the model, motto of be excellent to each other. Um, uh, from and from our friends at Eat Stick, a welcoming first and knowledgeable second. So what are the three criteria? The first one is quality of behavior. So this is a similar role in many other communities. Uh, would be a project ambassador. Um, like an ambassador in real life, rocket scientists are expected to conduct themselves in a manner that represents rocket pool well. Rocket scientists are expected to be helpful, constructive, and positive in their interactions with others. Next is quantity of participation. So rocket scientists should be present in and participate in the Discord community regularly uh, to an extent that is above average. Variation in the quantity of participation is expected over time since some people have commitments outside of rocket pool. But I think yeah, we'll, we'll analyze what each of those means uh, next. So this is level of knowledge. Rocket scientists should demonstrate a level of protocol knowledge that is significantly above average. This knowledge should be related to areas like node operation, the smart node, protocol design, DeFi ecosystem, or governance. Uh, this knowledge could be shared with others via education, providing support, or by otherwise helping to improve the protocol. The role helps to add a degree of legitimacy to the sharing, especially when it comes to node operator support. And then the next one, it has uh, transitioning from the role. So understanding that circumstances change, the role of a rocket scientist is seen as dynamic with members potentially transitioning out of the role due to various reasons, such as change in availability or focus. Should a rocket scientist feel that they're no longer able to fulfill their role's expectations, they are encouraged to initiate a conversation with MAV to discuss their situation and possibly transition. Additionally, with the rocket scientist input, if it becomes clear that the member's participation has significantly declined without prior communication the team will reach out to the individual to discuss their continued interest and capacity to contribute as a rocket scientist this process is designed to be respectful and supportive supportive uh, and supportive acknowledging the contributions the member has made while also ensuring the group remains active and effective so that i think was a really nice update from a uh, mav uh, sorry, from langas talking about the different things that you know can go towards making someone worthy of being a rocket scientist so the quality of behavior i think is really interesting because you know historically it's um it's always been that um rocket scientists have been kind of looked up or two in the within the community and even you know in some cases outside of the community and they have presented themselves in a way that you know is uh puts the best foot forward for rocket pool um and that of course is is really great in terms of quantity of participation these are people who are around quite a lot and um sadly it seems like you know a lot of the older rocket scientists aren't around as much anymore um and you know there's a few who are around quite a lot but not all of them are around that often anymore so maybe that's something that'll come up in the in the transition stuff and then there's level of knowledge and here you know the existing rocket scientists are some of the the most smartest people in our community they've been involved in research they're involved in support they're involved in all these different great ways and um it's really really cool that you know the, the, we're getting this kind of criteria now so if people think that you know they can uh, live up to the the role of rocket scientist then they're welcome to put their name forward and um kind of apply for this position because i think that um maybe you know the the existing uh, membership might need a shake up um for the reason i mentioned above that you know some of those people just aren't around anymore and in terms of like 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 i said ne levels of knowledge here uh, you know these are people who've contributed to node operations smart node protocol design DeFi ecosystem of governance and they share their uh, knowledge with others via education um and they provide support or by otherwise helping improve the protocol so um these are definitely like some really cool uh, attributes um 
maybe the community can start thinking, you know, which people in the community have these attributes and then they can reach out to uh, Langers and say, hey, I think such and such person should be a rocket scientist. I've actually done this before. We even had the charter. I've done this numerous times, reaching out to Langers and telling him that I think certain people should be rocket scientists. You know, in the past, that's included Fornax and Hululo, um, and I'm totally willing to do that for other people as well. <laughs> so that's really cool, Langers. Thank you for sharing that. So... Uh, this this um this uh morning then uh we actually had a little bit of uh drama so popash who is uh you know was one of the rocket scientists uh patches says you know they're no longer yellow what's going on um and it seems like he did a voluntary exit message um so what happened is it looked like uh, popash read the um, read the charter and kind of thought um, hey, this actually like you know applies to me. I'm not around any much anymore, and maybe you know I shouldn't be a rocket scientist anymore. So instead of going and talking to Langers about like transitioning out of the position, what Popash did was went and left the server, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then didn't come back into the server. <laughs> so people were like, okay, so he's not yellow anymore, but he's also not in the server anymore. So he was actually in the pink server, and he said that he you know will come back to the rocket pool server. It's just he got a little bit busy. Um, yeah, he says. Uh, Dufa says, hey, Popash, everyone is freaking out in the Rocket Pool Discord. Are you rejoining? And he says, yeah, I just left to remove my roles, but I had stuff to do in the meantime, so I'll join, rejoin in a bit. Sorry, I didn't mean to cause drama. And then Popash, of course, came back a little while later, and everyone gave him a welcome back. Um, and people saying that it's really weird that Popash is now no longer yellow. Um, but um, it's it's really interesting that Popash did that. I think, you know, just reading the charter, maybe he thought that, you know, in the past he's contributed to Rocket Pool so much. Uh, recently, he's not been contributing that much. So maybe it's time to let someone else kind of get that get that title. I'm I'm just kind of assuming what I think, you know, Popash was thinking of here. But he says, thanks for all the love. This is the opposite reaction of what I was going for. Um, he says, you just like kind of hoping to sneak out and come back without anyone noticing. But he says, there's nothing to say here. Um, so he says... Um, <laughs> Pacha says I hope Langas wakes up and rejects your resignation and Papa says it doesn't really make sense at this point I'll still be here to shitpost in trading and now since I'm not yellow I can say even more dumb stuff without feeling guilty and Pacha says I say dumb stuff all the time so yeah um, that's 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 nice that Popash actually didn't want to leave the community but just understood that you know maybe that role wasn't for him anymore Okay, the sad broke director who works for Alpha Growth, which is a team that the GMC hired to help go out there and, you know, uh, mint our ETH, um, says that he, you know, he's making a thread for the community to voice opinions on projects they wish to see Alpha Alpha Growth engage with while representing Rocket Pool. Um, and Famous Soul Spice replied by saying, regarding the Peapods thing, in my opinion, it sounds really interesting and could be something we should explore, uh, but it doesn't fully fit the IMC charter. Uh, maybe it would be better fit for what you're doing. Um, and it says, this is what the proposal is. So there's a proposal in the thing. I said, nice idea. Put this chat into submission. Um, I'll cover it on the show on Monday. So I didn't cover it yesterday, but I'm covering it today. And um, then Peapod in turn says that, you know, willing to answer questions. And um, they are, um, this is where you want to go. So if you have an idea of, you know, a certain protocol, even a team or people, anyone that you want Alpha Growth to be talking to, uh, or, you know, you think someone should talk to them, but you don't know who, put their names in this thread. If you have any contact details, I think that would be great too. And then you can um, kind of um, start a conversation about uh, min getting more RETH minted, because of course, you know, we need the RETH mint <laughs> now. So um, that's really cool. Thank you for putting that together, um, Sadbrook Director. Okay, let's talk about RETH now since we just brought it up. So RETH has actually been doing some really interesting stuff right now. And you all know that, you know, there's 250 validators um, queued right now, you know, waiting for RETH to come through. Um, with Atlas, we introduced a new queue mechanism where the people at the back of the queue kind of help the people at the front of the queue get their validators online. And with those validators coming online, what happens is um, the RETH share is a lot higher. Um, because the people at the back aren't getting rewards, right? It's all going to our ETH. Um, and what ends up happening is more and more of the our ETH becomes effective on the on the market. Um, and with this chart, I know that you, know, you can see on the you can't quite see on the screen, but it's looking like it's you know heading towards hundred percent effectiveness. And as more and more people join 
the the deposit pool uh, and and form a longer queue, then that effectiveness is going to go even higher than 100%. That means that you know more than 100% of the RE that's been put into the protocol is contributing towards rewards into our ETH and that's because you know the people at the back of the queue they're the node operators it's not our ETH that they put into the system it's their node operator ETH that is then giving rewards to our ETH holders it's actually a really nice system um, and what's actually happening here is that the rewards are trending up so you can see on the bottom right you know since um, um, Saturn Zero went live there's been a marked uptake in the rewards for our ETH and that's with the uh, nine day average and uh, the virtual. So um, soon, you know, we're going to hopefully go above those amounts and, you know, our ETH uh, APR will go above 3% um, on the uh, on, on the protocol. Uh, and then the, the, what will happen is that will hopefully mean people will want to mint our ETH. They will come into the deposit pool, deposit it, which will make the queue go down, which will make the the effectiveness go back down, which will make the API go down, which will make the queue longer. So it's actually this really interesting dynamic here, where you know, as long as there's no operator supply, uh, we'll find a we'll find a cool balance between um, the length of the the mini pool queue and uh, uh, RETH demand. But I'm hoping that this will lead to some RETH demand coming in soon. And um, yeah, and if you know. Just like always, if you if you have our ETH, if you want to mint our ETH, there's some really nice yields that you could be you could be getting. So you know, people on Optimism, for example, if they've deposited our ETH into Optimism, if they switch over to Moonwell, they could be getting a six plus uh, APY on their on their deposits. So for example, on Aave, if you deposit uh, our ETH, you are getting about zero point zero six percent APY, APY, which is terrible. But on Moonwell, you're getting 6.7% APY, which of course is much nicer. So um, there's a lot of different places where you can use our ETH. So definitely go and do that. Mint our ETH. It's the best LST on the market and you won't go wrong with it. Okay, again, in yesterday's episode, we talked about the RPL token hitting new lows. And um, sadly, we had another day of low prices. So here we have the ratio bot hitting a low uh, against ETH on the ratio 0 0.0037. Um, we also had one against the USD. Um, and um, this was $8.90. Um, however, sadly, since then, we've hit lower prices. So the low on the ratio that we currently have is 0 0.0035. Um, 61779 and then on the US dollar we have uh, eight point uh, eight dollars and sixty seven cents or thereabouts uh, and low and both of those were updated today so I'm really hoping that you know this uncertainty in the markets right now kind of gets figured out ASAP of course it's election day in the US and I think markets are kind of jittery going into the election um, you know once we get the election done hopefully there can be some um, some you know stability that comes back in the market and we can start trending upwards historically speaking uh, you know bitcoin does really well in the post-election uh, period for the you know for the next year after this so i'm hoping that um you know we get some we get some good positive price movement um and i'm hoping that rpl kind of goes along with that the community really needs that to happen okay so um yeah on that depressing note, I'm going to end today's episode. So thank you all for watching, listening, and being part of the Rocky Field community. Um, yeah, please be good to each other today within the election. Um, and I know that, you know, in some places, there's tensions are running quite high. Um, if you if you are in the US and if you're listening to this, go and vote. Uh, every vote counts, you know, vote for whoever you want, but definitely go and vote. But um, I'm going to end that episode and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day for everyone. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all then. Bye.